All right. I... Does it say we're recording? Yeah, it says record. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. Do you want Hello, me to everybody? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we started out and I was like, do you want me to start? But you win. So I was like, okay, good. But we started the same way last time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you want me to start this time? Yeah, you start. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm going to start without trying to get go. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining Elise and I. This is our second month doing a little collaboration. So we wanted to, again, do something that we've never done before, which was a cloud tour. Um, so we each watched some videos from some different artists. So our um, our mixtures are a little bit different, but we've got the same size canvas. So we're working on 20 by 20 uh, artist loft canvas, level threes. Um, colors are kind of similar. I think I have some more pinky in mine. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm going to go first, and Lisa's going to help me layer my cup. And then I'll pour it and then we'll turn it over to Elise. Perfect. Yay. Do you have anything to add, Elise? No, for, I mean, so hers is going to be a cloud, uh, the traditional cloud pour, and mine is going to be like the cloud pearl. And then with, I guess it's called a cloud over mix. I don't know. That's not that one either, but it's also <laughs> so exciting to see. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit different. Mine's a lot thinner, and but it's still in the same cloud family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we'll have to change it up on the next one. Yeah. It'll be fun. All right. So let me move my camera. All right. So here's my cup. And I definitely want to start with the white and then the mm -hmm. gold because I love that look. So we'll do... Um, this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with some satin enamels in it. Deco Art 24 karat gold. A, like a lime green, a coral, greenish blue, and Prussian blue. What should I do next? Um, so maybe like a, the, the, I don't know, I'm trying to think, maybe like the coral? No, no, no. Save that one for a little bit in the middle. Okay. <laughs> um, blue. Yeah. Yeah, do a blue. Right. And, and then, then I like the lime. You think the lime? Lime. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm so nervous. <laughs> now I feel like I can't put coral and lime green next to each other. Yeah, do the blue and then the coral. All right. So then I'm gonna do greenish blue. Those. That's really pretty. Amsterdam. All right. And then do some more white. Gold. Yeah. Yep. Just start it over again. I think I want to put some pressure next to the gold. Yeah, that yeah, do that one. That'd be pretty. And maybe some green. Green. Yeah. Some turquoise. Mm -hmm. And the pink. The pink. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, do the pink. That's so pretty. Some greenish blue next to the pink. Yeah, I love I love greenish blue. I don't oh. use it that often, but I I should. Well, I never use my favorite colors, and greenish blue and Venetian rose are my favorites, along with turquoise. Um, maybe some gold next to that. Oh yeah, I love gold in that dark blue. Oh, it's so pretty. Right. I feel like Sarah Mac always layers these just so beautifully. Yours looks beautiful. It looks really pretty. So excited, Elise. <laughs> and I made Did sure you... to keep the gold a little thicker. Yeah. I think that was the problem when I did my first ring pour. Is um that I didn't have it thick enough. Mm. All right, my cup's getting kind of full. Yeah. All right, does that look good? 
That looks beautiful. Oh, that looks so pretty. All right. So should I put white in the middle or gold in the middle? What? Should I put white or gold in the middle? Uh, we'll definitely put some white down so that, you know, the it'll get that cloudy effect when you pour it too. But I mean, I, I think you could maybe add both even. So a puddle of white in the middle and then some gold. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? Exactly, this is fun. <laughs> Are <we ready? laughs> All right, so should I go up high first and then come down? Yeah, I think that, I mean, I don't know. I've never done one, honestly. Ooh, look how pretty. And then when it starts getting like too much color, kind of spin the cup like to the side, like rotate it so that okay. it gets like a different direction. The bottom of the cup. Do you hold your breath when you pour too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take a breath. All right, let me just fix. Okay. Yeah, that looks so pretty. You want it for a little close up? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I want to see it. <gasps> Ooh, can you see? Doggies, look at that. Do you see like when I was saying to turn the cup, how you get that yeah. direction, that pretty movement? Oh. I feel like I lost a lot of my pink though. Yeah, there's only pink around the edge. Hmm. Oh. All right. So now I think I need to put some white around the yeah, edges. I was gonna say maybe put some white around it. All right. Underneath, that's it'll help it go more cloudy. So I have some more white and I think I need to put some water in it to thin it out. Yeah, maybe it'll go farther too. Cause that, that's what me. Cause it's gonna so be I'm, pretty much gonna get tilted off. So I, know. <laughs> I, am, I am far away from both Sarah, Mac and Mina. Yeah, you. It looks like Sarah Mac. That's like in her <laughs> consistency. It looks She's just like her voice. The most beautiful. She does. I and love, I love the ones that look like an earth. Oh yes. Oh, I just there wondered. Was, there was another one she did. It was. It almost just like it looked like. I think she calls it a galaxy fork, but it just looked so gorgeous. You know what I want to try next time wow. is the starburst where you put like the black in the middle and then you just pour color around it in a circle and then just yeah. layer, layer and then you blow it out and it's so it's like a it's a dutch pour pretty much but you're blowing it a different direction and it's so pretty. I don't know if you, have you seen those? I have. Let's make that our next one. Yes, at the Dutch pour. All right, so this is definitely thinned down. Okay, oh, yeah, that's sad. You lost some of your pink. I know. All right, and I bought one of these. I don't know if I had this last time. I think I did. Yeah, I don't think I made enough. Um, Low extender. Like the flow aid? Yeah. I feel like I could use some more over here. I want it. Um, you know, like how she uses the, the mix as her pouring medium? Yeah, that's what I did. I do get like the most gorgeous effects and the lacing in the cells naturally like oh but I tried to get some it was a while ago though and they were sold out <laughs> are you talking about mixing 
medium. Mix, it's a pouring medium. Yeah, the pouring medium. Okay. All right. These were not you know, the kind of a awkward, that's an awkward name to name a pouring medium mix because it confuses yeah. people. <laughs> oh my word, I'm so nervous. All right, no, it's gonna be it's so pretty. So I think I'm going to just swirl, swirl it around to stretch it out. I definitely have some like cool fingerlings. I feel like my paint weight is over here. Yeah, it is. It's over there. The Go over. And when you go to like your next one, uh, rock it, like rock it back and forth. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do it maybe that dramatic, but just like a little <laughs> tilt. <laughs> just, uh, I found it helps them like uh, stay in their, the structure more. They don't get all like stretched too much. Look at those effects up there. They look like, like tree vines. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm gonna see it okay. Yeah, it is beautiful. Oh, thank you for your help. All right, now we're gonna get it back to the middle. Oh, this didn't go over. I was too scared. <laughs> I love that corner that you're the that, that's going to right now. The up higher. Yeah, that one. Oh my gosh. It's Oh, pretty. I didn't touch it anymore. You what? I'm <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna wipe my hands real quick and bring you down closer and then you can tell me what I need to change. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. So what do you think about taking some of that green, that green at the bottom off a little bit? Right here? Yeah, down a little bit more. Um, yeah, yeah, like that area right, right here. here. Yeah, the only thing is I'm worried about is if you take that corner off though, are you gonna be left with like a big green and blue blob with nothing there? <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's too much blue right there. Yeah, maybe take that, so that whole entire edge because there's no paint over there on that side like or there's like you can see the canvas yeah Maybe take it that's tip it that way yeah tip tip it that way get that part off like that yep like that yeah some more here yeah i think still more there so just maybe rock it like bring it around and then get that corner edge because then that'll bring it that pretty that pretty lacy stuff around that green part uh it's hard to like explain what i'm saying because <laughs> you don't know what i'm seeing i know
this, am I going in the right direction? Yeah. Bring it back. So the right. old, yeah. you, you, this is what I was meaning is um you now if you bring it back, you're gonna have like a big stretch of blue and at that blue and green. Okay. So maybe uh go like this with it back. Yeah, rock it to try and get those two sides um a little bit closer. So slippery. <laughs> oh, I know. I've dropped so many canvases. <laughs> It looks like a peacock. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. And it looks like it's a heart in the middle. It looks like a heart. Like right here? Yes. And the gold. And then there's white around it. It looks like a heart in the center. Aww. Oh, I love it. I wish I had more pink. But I what do, do you like the green and the blue. Mm hmm And the fingerlings. Do you think they need to be stretched out more like over here? Yeah, you could bring it over a little bit more because you do have, don't have any, you have don't have any paint on the side of this canvas on the, that side. There's like spots missing. So maybe you could bring it over a little bit. Yeah, let me grab. Yeah, not a how do people like cover? the sides when they didn't get it covered. <laughs> do what you're doing. <laughs> or do they like pour from their cup? Yeah, or they scoop up what's on the on your puppy pad and uh, they kind of like tap it on there. Yeah, I've seen the, is it Mina? I think that's her name. I've seen her do that. Okay. I was gonna say you could even use your stick and add a little bit of pink over on that side, and then because you're gonna tip it a little bit more off, yeah. So it has like a pink accent in there. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> no, it does. All right. Okay. Uh, my sleeves. Oh no. I don't care that they got dirty, but they're scraping against the paint. All right, let me lift them up again. Okay. So stretching this out. Yeah. Yeah, I think those that area needs to be pulled open. Say something. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this keeps going me that whole time. <laughs> so we Lisa and I noticed on our last video that um, whoever talks, that's where the camera stays until the next person talks. So, um, you know, some of the pouring got missed out on. Yes. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Uh oh. We're gonna uh -oh. Have to ask her. <laughs> All right. So I think, what are we thinking? Yeah, I like it. I like right. it right there. It still held the heart too. It still looks like a heart. <laughs> All right, mm. let me prop this up on its little feet. Or cup one. Okay, so about everything got covered the far as sides go 
Mm -hmm. Look, you can already see like on the blue where it's like kind of clouding up, like the, the white's showing through. Yeah. And yeah. I'll have a little more. Next time I'll have to thin my paints out more. What? Go what? thinner. Um, just for it to get even more cloudy. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. And I think I can see the reflection in the window when the other side is covered. Report. Uh oh. Ooh. Yay! Ooh. Do you love it? I I like ninety, maybe like ninety-two percent love it. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I wish I had pink in it. Yeah. We're just gonna yeah. it's just like happen, you know what I mean? When you layered what like, we could you could have just done like maybe every third one pink. And then yeah. then you know, every third layer do pink. Let's see. Yeah. What, um, let me just get the back of this real quick and then um I love this. Yeah. And this and this. But this I'm not super crazy about. Yeah. I don't know. Oops. Ah! Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right. Oh, no. We're okay. We're okay. That's fixable. It's okay. It's fixable. It's just paint. <laughs> How are we going to fix that? Uh, grab some of the spill off with your little spoon and kind of just drip it over it, maybe. The stuff that's on your puppy piddle pack. Okay. Let me find a good spill. Where's the tooth pack? Maybe stick your toothpick in your greenish blue or your Prussian blue and then string it through. That will kind of maybe help it. Yeah. It so good. <laughs> well, thank you. It's probably because I messed up so much. <laughs> <laughs> in tradition, Eli and Val's America's Funniest Collabs again, right? Correct. It really <laughs> we even started off laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've got teeny little like gold things popping up. Ooh. Kind of funny. Okay, I am so ready for you to have your turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, you've got like the world's smallest level. I know, isn't it cute? It's a little baby guy. <laughs> I love it. That's so teeny. No, I he's so cute. <laughs> Did you name him? Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so gonna remember that. <laughs> he's a little Frederick. <laughs> it's not Frederick. So I don't know how tall you are, but I'm only five feet. So oh, I feel like the table comes like up to here and then you've got another couple inches for the canvas and then another couple inches for the cups. So I, I feel like I'm just not tall enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm not tall enough to tilt. Yeah, I'm five seven and so I feel like I'm always I'm feel like I'm always bending over or like hunchback. <laughs> I need my tables to be taller. That's the problem that I need to have and I don't have. <laughs> okay, so Elise is getting ready to do her pour. Yeah. All right, Elise, while you're doing that, you need to um tell us what your awesome plastic cups are. Oh my goodness, yeah, these are my little uh mandarin oranges <laughs> these are my little mandarin oranges cups and they are perfect perfect <laughs> and i use them for my resin too and it just peels right off 
Oh, that's awesome. But it is. They work so good. <laughs> I'm going to say you my, my, and mail them to you. <laughs> my other, my other uh, stands are baby food <laughs> containers. <laughs> hey, I mean, whatever you can use, right? Right? It really is. See, look, little baby food. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It works though. Hey, I'm recycling. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so Sarah Taylor just kind of puts it down. Bless you. <laughs> I told you I have allergies. Oh, I know. And it's starting up. It's I know. Starting. So okay. you're, you're putting your, your white all over. Yeah, all over the canvas. And then um, I'm going to just put the colors up straight on the canvas and then to give it another tilt. Mm -hmm. And then is the goal for this one, and this is just based on what I think I've watched, that you're going to let those colors run over the white and it's gonna develop cloud and pearl cells. Yeah, yeah, okay. it'll just start right. developing little pearls. Yeah, I think I got you. Okay, let me torch that. My torch was a uh, resin shut. I <laughs> I had to sit there and scrub it with alcohol trying to get it off. Did it work? Because I'm having the same problem with mine and I thought, oh, maybe I need to buy a new one and keep one for paint and one for resin. Yeah, no, it worked. It worked. It did? Yeah, it did. It took forever though, but it worked. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the first color I'm starting with is, um, Oh, sorry, I just got something in my eyeball. <laughs> okay. This is, uh, what is this? Deep Sapphire by Decalard. It's beautiful. It is so pretty. Oh my word, look at that. I know, I love this color. Okay, so from watching her, she puts it kind of close together, but... I don't think I've seen this technique at all before. You haven't? I don't think so. I know it's kind of scary, but fun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we might have to swap next time. Yeah. Okay. You this one... straight. Okay, go ahead. Oh, sorry. This no, no, no. Go ahead. Teal green. I love this one. Very pretty. Oops, that one kind of just blew. <laughs> All right, and then this is Pewter, uh, also by Deco Art. Mm -hmm. So uh, is that a key to this kind of um, pour too, is that they're metallic paint? Uh, no, you can use anything. Um, she did say that the opaque colors will show up more. So pretty much these colors are going to really dim down. You're going to barely see them because it, all these pearls are going to start forming around the color. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, they pretty much get like eaten up. All right. And this is champ uh, champagne. I thought you were going to say Shamu. <laughs> Shamu! <laughs> okay, and then this is just a, this is pearl, but in this pearl, I put the satin enamel as well. So just to give it another extra little boost. Mm-hmm. 
And then the last color is color shift uh, blue, blue flash. That almost looks like the blue black from Pebeo you used in the last pour. It does? Kind of. Mm, oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> in the bottle it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a blue, purpley green. I don't know. It's pretty though. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks totally different than what it does in the bottle. Uh -huh. It's gorgeous. Okay. Oops, guess it doesn't really matter because I'm tilting it. <laughs> you just dump that paint there, Elise. Yep. Woo, look at that mess. <laughs> oh, I forgot my gold. Woo. Uh oh. <sighs> and then this is 24 carats. I. What I didn't tell you was I used the last of my 24 carat. Oh, I don't have any more. And I've heard like you can't get it anywhere. It is so hard to find. Like it is ridiculous. When you go to the stores, it's like bare shelves. There's like nothing. <laughs> All of the are pretty much gone. I don't know how it is where you live, but in Utah, it's just like, yeah. Ridiculous. Are you like flowing towards the back corner? What? Is your paint flowing towards the back corner? It looks like it is, yeah. Yeah. I might need to put a popsicle stick underneath there. Yeah. Well, Frederick. That's did okay. Not do his job. Whoa, where did you go? Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's a piece of plastic right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. It looks like marbled and cool. Yeah, it would in a minute if I if I hope it works because I like I said I was using American Floetrol instead of Australian. Um, but it should start purling up. Oh, it is. Look at right there. Yeah. Oh, where? Oh, oh, look at right here. Okay, let me get my composition right. Where's okay. Do you think I need to get some of this off? Yeah. Or do, okay. Yeah, if you can shift the paint into where that blue is, you can get the blue off, but, oh, I think you are gonna lose your gold. <laughs> yep. I need to get something over there. So I'm trying to do that, but then I don't want to get that big old blue blob again. Well, I know when I've seen some cloud pores, and this is a little different, I think, from what I've seen, like you're really supposed to get that paint right off the canvas and, and then tilt it back. Like it, it almost, I'm sure, feels like you're tilting all your paint off. Yeah. Especially because I don't have any gag. I got to probably get a lot of this paint off.
<laughs> Slippery suckers. <laughs> All right, that, that feels a lot better. It was not as much pain. Okay. What do you think? It's cool. And then we, I, I guess you just let it sit and it should pearl up. Yeah, it looks like a watercolor painting. Oh yeah, I, it does, huh? I like that green color a lot. Yeah, that color shift one? Or no, mm -hmm. that's the teal. Yeah, the teal one, I like that. Yeah. Well, at least you're not stepping and sitting in and slipping in paint this time. Oh my gosh, that was <laughs> insane. Oh, it was like a three or four hour clean up. <laughs> and it didn't help that my daughter was covered in it. She just like so tell everybody why you scraped your painting the second time. Oh, I scraped it the second time because my daughter was playing in the paint, like swimming in the paint pretty much. And she flipped it all over my canvas. So <laughs> it was already starting to dry. So I just had, I had to scrape it. And there was yeah. nothing, you know what I mean, I could do. Oh my word. Whenever you told me that, I was dying. I know. Oh. Yeah, she got grounded. <laughs> Poor kid, she's just trying to have some fun. Oh, I know. Oh, I just took her tablet away for two days. <laughs> That's not that hard. Well, I guess it was, like, it was like a horrible punishment. <laughs> you take the phone away for like 10 seconds and they feel like they're going to die. Apparently. I know. I, I, you know, we didn't worry about that when we were kids. I know. Okay. It's not curling up. Ah! <laughs> if it doesn't curl up, do you like it? Oh, uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Would you, would you keep it? I don't know. Do you think I need to get more paint off? Um, so I, um, I'm just trying to remember from when I watched Julie Cutts do it. I think like you tip it off a lot and yeah then you bring it back and then you tip it off a lot and you bring it back and you don't touch it because you want you want the white to be underneath the paint and that's what makes yeah. clouds so maybe too much tipping tilting I mean oh too much maybe we've tilted too much I don't know I felt like I had too much paint on there, so it wasn't even able to come up. It's a really cool composition. Yeah, yeah like I feel like that. I like and that I know a lot the clouds take a while to develop. Yeah, that's what Michelle said. Michelle said sometimes you gotta like wait a while. Hmm. Okay, so I like this better. Like, I like what I just did. Yeah. Tipping that off. And it is kind of starting. And the okay. gray looks really cloudy. It's probably just going to take a while. Yeah, I guess if you like the composition, then just don't touch it and leave it. Yeah. Just make sure everything's covered. And like I said, this just, I, I used uh, the exact same recipe that Sarah Taylor does, mm -hmm. but I just didn't have the gap. And so Who, who's Sarah Taylor? Because I haven't heard of her. What's her channel called? I just I think it's just Sarah Taylor. Okay. It's Sarah, it's S-A-R-A. -A. Okay. I'll link her channel in this in, in my this description in this, like what, okay. what we're doing. 
Yeah, I'd like to watch her too. But yeah, so I used Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out. I used her exact, exact, like I even got my skill out. But I just, <laughs> I just didn't use the Aussie flow troll. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that should make a difference. Yeah, well, I'm not going to waste my Australian flow troll on all this. There's no, no. way. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Turn around. <laughs> I brought you like backwards. Ah! In, I broke it. Everybody, <laughs> check out Elisa's beautiful face makeup. Look at her eyes. The most beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got I'm jealous of eyeshadow. your eyeshadow. I have a hard yeah. time with eyeshadow. Oh. All right, so. Um, so at least and I are going to say goodbye for tonight. Yep. I'm going to take a little close up of mine and then at least we'll take a close up of hers and we'll tack them on at the end of our videos yeah. to see what it looks like. Cause I think it's going to need to just sit and develop yeah. and hopefully it works <laughs> or she'll be scraping it. Exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, well, it was so fun getting together with you again and I look forward to our next one. Yes, once which I think will be collaboration. Are we gonna do the starburst? Yeah, let's do a okay. starburst. We're gonna do That'll something different. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay, so my pearl cloud pour did not turn out. Um, my mix was way too thin and it just needs to be pretty precise. And it's just hard because it's the first time doing things and sometimes you need to test things out, try again and again for them to work out. So I wanted to have something successful on that big 20 by 20 canvas. So I did this Starburst Dutch Pour and I'm super happy about it. I think it turned out gorgeous. Um, stay tuned for the video for that. I didn't want to put it on this one because it'd be way too long. So it will be coming next. Thanks, you guys. Bye.